Did you realize that to obtain citizenship in Uzbekistan, you must relinquish your previous citizenship since they do not recognize dual citizenship? Quite unexpected, isn't it? Welcome to Rob's Unreal Travel, your go-to platform for seasoned travelers and global investors. Drop a comment letting us know which country you're tuning in from. Before I proceed, it's crucial to understand that no country offers complete safety and affordability, especially given the widespread issue of inflation. Now let's delve into the top 10 countries where you can live affordably and securely. Uzbekistan, situated in Central Asia, Uzbekistan stands out as one of the world's most economical and secure destinations. Despite its proximity to Afghanistan, the country experiences minimal crime and religious extremism. It's recognized as safer compared to its neighboring nations. The average cost of living for a single person, excluding rent, typically ranges from $400 to $700. Rent starts as low as $200, with internet services costing around $16 monthly. Visa fees vary from $25 to $85, depending on the type you apply for. However, English proficiency isn't widespread and finding employment can be challenging for foreigners due to language barriers and the necessity of work permits. Apart from renouncing your current citizenship, becoming a citizen of Uzbekistan requires gainful employment and at least five years of residency. While the country offers cultural diversity at an affordable price, navigating its bureaucratic system can prove challenging and job opportunities are limited. Malaysia. Next on our list is Malaysia, renowned for its safety and affordability. However, like many countries, it has experienced a rise in living costs, although it remains relatively economical. For a single person, the average monthly cost of living, excluding rent, ranges from 480 to 680. Rental rates vary from 280 outside the city to higher rates within. Malaysia ranks 19th in global peace rankings in the GPI and boasts a commendable healthcare standards compared to its neighbors. English is widely spoken. Visa applications can be made online or through representatives. Now, while Malaysia offers strategic access to other Asian countries, pollution and limited nightlife are factors to consider. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to catch my latest video first. And if you like this video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Next, Albania. Often overlooked, Albania offers a Mediterranean climate and stunning landscapes making it an attractive destination for expatriates, digital nomads seeking affordability and quality of life. Monthly living costs for a single person range from 400 to 600, excluding rent. Rent is affordable starting at 190 outside the city and reaching up to 400 within. Albania is considered safe with minimal crime against foreigners. Healthcare options are decent, but they get kind of less as you go outside the capital. Applying for Albanian citizenship requires five years of uninterrupted residence with visa fees ranging from 90 to 190. As per the Expatria Global Retirement Index, Albania is in the top 20 best countries to retire in. To apply for a visa in Albania, you can apply online and it ranges from 90 to 190, while resident permit holders can apply for citizenship after five consecutive years of residence. Tunisia. From North Africa comes Tunisia, offering relative safety and affordability. While some regions, especially border areas, pose safety concerns, the country remains accessible for expatriates and digital nomads. Monthly living costs for a family average around 981, while a single person is around 488. Rent prices range from 100 to 250, depending on the location. Healthcare quality is commendable in urban areas like Tunis. Visa fees range from 90 for a single entry to 180 for multiple entries. Permanent residency is granted after five years of continuous residence. However, it's not all sunshine and smiles in this country. Women have to be a little extra careful alone as there has been an increasing number of harassment among female foreigners. Also, it's a religious country. So basically there are no LGTB rights and it's a criminal offense here. Ghana, often underrated, stands out as an affordable and safe destination in West Africa. It ranks GPI's fourth in safety in sub-Saharan Africa. A single person's monthly living costs, excluding rent, hover around 480, with rent ranging from 100 to 600. English is widely spoken and, and visa fees range from 60 for single entry to $100 for multiple entries. While Ghana offers a friendly environment for retirees, occasional power outages and petty thefts are drawbacks. Nepal. Nestled in the Himalayas, Nepal offers diverse landscapes and affordability 
but they come with some challenges. According to Numbio, the average monthly living cost for a single person is around $390, excluding rent. Rent prices start at $120 for basic accommodations. Nepal requires visa fees ranging from $30 to $75, depending on duration and usage. Expats need extra health insurance as free healthcare isn't available. And English is limited outside the urban areas and the country faces air pollution and seismic risks. Czech Republic, located in the heart of Europe, Czech Republic offers affordability and a high standard of living. The cost of living for four is estimated $2,700, while for a single person, it ranges from 400 to 800, excluding rent. It provides a good standard of living while remaining one of the most affordable in Europe. It is the eighth most peaceful country on the GPI ranking. Healthcare is accessible, but there is some out-of-pocket expenses. English proficiency varies and navigating immigration processes can be a little tricky. Sri Lanka, renowned for its beauty and cultural richness, offers a safe environment for expatriates and digital nomads. Monthly living costs for a single person range from 480 to 880, while rent starting at 200 outside the city. It's considered a safe country for expats, but like any other country, it has some crime, with some places higher than others. Private healthcare options are available and English is prevalent in urban areas. Retirement programs are promoted by the government, but visa requirements are, and corruption pose some challenges. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the next video.